Hallo, es ist wieder Dream Daddy Zeit und wir starten direkt los. Letzte Woche kam keine Folge, ich bin irgendwie nicht dazu gekommen, aber jetzt sind wir ja wieder da, ne? Okay, dann geht's los. Auf los geht's los. <lacht> While I'm doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pull through the cul-de-sac sack. I wonder if you got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get it in. Ich kenne das von unseren Briefkasten. Der Schlitz ist nicht so groß und wird immer so reingedrückt. Hey, my coupons! I take a closer look at The large yellow envelope. <laughs> hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. <laughs> Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Horn Institute for the Arts? <laughs> Sie schreit immer noch. I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Mother, please. I hand her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. Okay. <laughs> That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. Oh my god. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. Huh. And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream school. Amanda's face is unreadable. Mm. I can't believe this. Oh, uh, honey, it's okay if you didn't... I got in! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview. And your pho photography is incredible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment. HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied to, but I know she's had her heart set on it for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it up. Work. <laughs> Work. Work's the word. Huh? Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner. Your choice. Wherever you want. Yeah. Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil red burritos from a nearby food truck. <laughs> das, das ist, ich meine, man kann mit jeder Art von Essen celebraten, aber Burritos, wirklich. <laughs> you could have chosen any way in Maple Bay, because it was not a determining factor. <laughs> genau, was ich mir gerade dachte. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple girl. Uh, just give me a Rito will view. <laughs> I can't say I'm mad. <laughs> Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships sail lazily through the bay. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes and there are all these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring your student ID and... A Amanda, slow down! You're gonna choke on your burrito! I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors and we get all the professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA. I HIA. But I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of a burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with someone with a similar major and interests. I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Oh no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We didn't have bad, a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought, brought home one night. We spent a semest semester fabricating a story about our new foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> oh, could you say? Call ruled. <laughs> 
Oh, they let you have animals in the dome. You get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit. Or maybe a snake. Or maybe both. Would a snake eat a rabbit, though? <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. I think I'll leave all that up to you. <laughs> She's so excited. I want... I don't want to disappoint her, but, but I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had a, a talk with Mr. Vega. Mm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? W what? No. Mm. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the of the park these last few months for sco of school week, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. I pat her in the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. <laughs> Meine Tochter liebt mich. Oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person and I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop, you're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna make it taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you too, Pops. Oh, das war schön. <lacht> Endlich mal ein Erfolgserlebnis. Oh mein Gott, wir sind wieder auf Dadburg und ich habe eine Nachricht gekriegt von Matt. Na, gucken wir mal, was er möchte. Hey Lloyd, what are your feelings about poker? Right message. <lacht> oh, okay, es, es, es kommt noch mehr Text. Also. Beyond hardly knowing her. Poker? I hardly know her. <lacht> dot, dot, dot. <lacht> There it is. Well, good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually <laughs> obligated. No, no, I, I get that. Anyway, we've been playing weekly poker games and I figured I should send an invite your way. That sounds great. I love losing money. Who doesn't? Cool, dude. See you soon. Lose that money. Let's go! <lacht> oh, sehr schön, sehr schön. Matt invited me to a poker night at Joseph's house. I... Joseph's... Jo Joseph's house. Mein Gott, was ist denn so schwer daran? I put on my going out coat and walk over. Across the way I spot Matt, who's walking over from his own house. He's got a case of beer on his... A case of beer under some. Okay. Crap, I should have brought something. Hey, man. Crap, I should have brought something. <laughs> so, das auch noch gesagt. <laughs> no worries, man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. Just a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. It's never really high stakes. Ich finde seine Tattoos cool. Die sind, die sind mir literally gerade erst aufgefallen. Okay, da, da, ist, da ist die Gang. We pass through the fence enclosing Joseph's backyard. Craig, Brian and Joseph ho hover around the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner, brooding as usual. Oh. <laughs> Lloyd, glad you could make it. Oh. So am I. I'm psyched to take all your money. Es ist ungewohnt, ihn ohne, ohne sein Baby zu sehen. <laughs> Just like old times. Craig's the resident shark. We prefer the term person who's good at poker. <laughs> I am well aware Craig's always been suspiciously good at poker. Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Poker face, tell the truth. Okay, poker face. Hey, I wasn't terrible. I'm not bad at poker. I'm definitely good at poker. Everyone stares at me. Okay, maybe that was a little defensive. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at poker. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. And <laughs> that cop there on the egg, eh? Joseph shrugs. Hi. This is basically my tithing? 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 Oh god. I'm giving back to the community. Nice. Plus, I'm happy to sit, just sit here and eat all of Brian's snacks. Oh, Brian's snacks. Yeah. 
Guess you brought pigs in a blanket. Not Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Der Typ macht mich so fertig. Hey, my cheer seed and granola energy balls are just as delicious. Everybody loves. Let's just get the game going. We all take a seat at the table and Matt starts stealing cards. The first couple rounds go by easily as I'm getting the hang of things, but it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Ooh. <laughs> Craig, how did you get so good at this? It's pretty easy. You just start getting a feeling for everybody's tail. Like, Matt will scratch his ear. Hey! <laughs> Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. No, wait a second. And I think you just loudly announce to the whole room when you have a good hair. <lacht> ich habe das tatsächlich mal beim Poker gemacht. Das ist keine gute Idee. <lacht> yeah, yeah, that's me. What's Joseph's tell? Everything, literally, literally everything. That man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Church boy can't lie. Well, at least I have God on my side. Oh my God. <laughs> so you can't even say that with a straight face. What about Robert? Hmm. Honestly, that man's an enigma. Robert raises his glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. Salim, Salim, yeah. I think he'd wipe the floor with us if he actually tried. I'm just here because I enjoy the company. Robert pulls out his phone and stares at it. Yeah, so viel zu company. Robert, is that a flip phone? <laughs> He's old school, I like that. <laughs> yeah. What, are you a drug dealer now? <laughs> yeah, what do you need? Horse, speed, Tuchana, Johnny's? <laughs> I can get you the street stuff easy, but if you're looking for something exotic or designer, it's maybe 72 hours on the favor call. Maybe I won't need you today, but maybe I won't need you tomorrow, but someday. Oh, I, I don't really... Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> right. But still, if you got the coin, I got the goods. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. I dropped my phone in the toilet and this is a backup until I can get it replaced on the warranty. <laughs> Everyone murmurs their sympathies. Well, uh, we've all been there. We go back to playing. I really gotta stop eating these pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket? Pigs in blankets? I, I don't know, uh, but they're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Hmm, that's kind of good. Oof, I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. <laughs> Ooh, jetzt, jetzt wird's, jetzt wird's kritisch. If you think you can handle another one, be my guest. Brian and Hazel are a handful, to say the least. But if you think three kids is a handful, try four. I'm operating at 100% dead capacity at all times. Actually, it's technically five. Christine, Christine saw a commercial for one of those dolls that poop and wouldn't stop asking for it. We ended up getting it for her, for her, for her birthday. But she's so grossed out by the fake baby poop that she makes me change it, its diapers. So now I'm changing the real baby and the fake baby. <laughs> What's this bad, my team? There's just a lot of poop in my household right now. Daisy got one of those a while back. One night I walk in on her after she had tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mecha mechanism worked, but then she couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop everywhere! <laughs> this is so witzig. Fake poop, uh, but still. <laughs> that reminds me of... Wait, do we all have poop doll stories? Everyone nods in agreement. <laughs> Guys, I really don't need any more poop in my life than there is already. Can we just get back to poker and not talk about poop? <laughs> we talked about poop a lot right now. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Matt deals another hand and we quickly forget about the poop. We run out of picks and blankets, so we switch over to Greg's healthy snack food. It actually isn't terrible. These kale chips are phenomenal. We should sell these at the coffee shop. It's my own recipe. I'd be happy to give it to you guys. Er sieht so glücklich aus. I can see it now. Pierce the kale chips. 
<lacht> dot, dot, dot. <lacht> ich, ich weiß auch nicht, was ich dazu sagen soll. Uh, Pierce the Whale is a popular post-hardcore screamo band out of San Diego. We all look at Matt, confused. It's, uh, it's maybe not any of your wheelhouses. <lacht> How's the shop nowadays? Busy as ever, I'm toying with the idea of hiring on another person to work the counter, but I haven't found a good candidate. Hmm. Denkt mein Dad, was ich denke? <laughs> If a man is looking for a summer gig, let me know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really nice of you, but I think she's been bum uh, burned too badly by coffee shops before. <laughs> Literally, not figuratively. Matt Cox has had to, to decide. Hmm. I I'll ask her though. <laughs> We get down to the final hand of the night and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph has long since lost all of his chips and is taken to tidying up, refusing any help from the rest of us. Brian deals us all cards. So, what's it gonna take for Robert to give a damn on this round? Robert looks up from his half-empty glass of whiskey. Do, re do you really wanna unleash the beast? Yes! <laughs> Well, now I'm curious. <laughs> I got a long history of being a gambling man, but I'll only do it if you make it interesting. None of this penny chip nonsense. I got a Lily's 18 year single blend sitting in my closet right now. Was saving it for when River turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as a collateral. It will wirklich sein Whisky weggeben. Hmm. <laughs> now you're talking my language. <laughs> He throws the keys to his truck on the table. Truck? What? <laughs> She's seen better days, but she can still pull a tree trunk out of the ground. Nope. Hey. Myself and everyone else at the table immediately folds. Ey, würde ich auch zu, ganz ehrlich. Dass das <laughs> Whiskey gegen Truck. Ich weiß ja. <laughs> Deal the cars, Bry Guy. Bry Guy? Bry Guy? Ah, Bry Guy, yeah, Brian. <laughs> Are you guys sure you wanna. You heard the man? Deal. <laughs> Brian deals the next round of cards. Craig stares daggers at Robert, who casually sips his whiskey. So I know what you might be thinking. Robert put his old workers up for grabs, his only mode of transportation, at times in his life his only home. How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I tell you right now, Craig. I wasn't always like this. I was a lot like you. Smart, talented, cocksure of my own luck. Great biceps, but it didn't last long though. I lost everything in a game of Pi Go in the back room of a Shenzhen tea house on what I thought was a three day business trip. Everything. Gone. Clothes, money, identification, you name it. I woke up in the ditch near Shaoshu Park and had to make my life new from there. It took me three years to beg, borrow and steal my way back to American soil. Was the Geschichte, Alter. And in those three years I saw the greatest depths of human fear, love deeper than I ever had and lost it all many more times. Over. <laughs> I've seen my own death, Craig. I know how I die. It's not like this. So let's make this more interesting. Nice. Robert produces the deed to his house from his jacket and tosses it on the table. Warum hat er das dabei? <laughs> Ist er immer vorbereitet oder was? Auf eine Challenge. All I have and all I am. Are you prepared to go the distance? Craig wipes sweat from his brow. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sort or tell that he can find. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. <laughs> casually. <laughs> I... I fold. Everyone erupts. Fine, fine, the whiskey is yours. And that's why you don't dance with the devil. So what was it? Were you bluffing or did you have the cards? That's for me to take to my grave, fellas. I swear it's about nine years. Next week, boys. <laughs> Next week. You got it. I'll be there. Mm. <laughs> sure thing. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> sure thing. This has been very relaxing and I sincerely doubt I will wake up in a cold sweat thinking about it tonight. <laughs> Keep working on that poker face, Lloyd. We all say our goodbyes and he head our separate ways. 
Ooh, <laughs> this, this one's awesome. intense. You've got dads. You've got dads. Ja, ich, ich kann jetzt wahrscheinlich noch jemandem schreiben. Ich versuch's nochmal mit Robert. Ich meine, ich hab, ich hab schon ein Herzchen. Dabei, ja, Robert Small. Ja, ich, ich find seinen Namen immer noch so witzig. Komm, wir, wir schreiben ihm nochmal. Ich bin, ich bin so neugierig auf seine Route einfach. Weil er einfach dieser, dieser... Typ. <lacht> okay. Oh, we're still this dark. What the fuck? Um, I really enjoyed the night I spent with Robert, but he's been dodging me ever since. I really want to see him again. I've tried messaging him a few times, and that book says he hasn't read them. Haven't even seen him come out of his house, actually. Maybe that's the thing with the flip phone. Vielleicht hat er kein Computer und kann nicht nach seinen Nachrichten gucken. <laughs> Okay, I decide to send him one last message, figuring that this'll produce the same result. Let's do it. Hey man, don't know where you've been, but we should grab a drink soon. I walk away from my computer because at this point I know he's not messi messi messaging me back anytime soon. I linger in the kitchen. I'm all caught up on work, the house is relatively clean, maybe I should do something nice for Amanda. Ah, I'll bake her favorite pie! I root through the pantry and pull out all the ingredients. This is an old family recipe that I used to make with my grandmother when I was a kid. I lost the actual recipe card a long time ago, but I think I'll be able to remember how to bake it. I start mixing the ingredients together for the crust until I get a nice dough. I throw some cherries into a saucepan to make the filling. Normally I don't like to multitask in the kitchen, but this cherry pie is a piece of cake. Pie? It's a piece of pie! <laughs> I'm making a pie. <laughs> oh man, I can never remember what temperature you're supposed to set the oven at. I'm pretty sure it's 375 degrees, but I could be wrong. Ich finde diese Zahl gerade so abgefahren, weil äh, ich bin in, in einer Celsius Gegend natürlich. Ne? Und 375 klingt einfach heftig heiß. <lacht> Who am I kidding? I'm never wrong when it comes to this pie. My special twist on my grandma's recipe includes a secret ingredient that not even Amanda knows about. It really makes the cherries extra flavorful. God, why can't I remember what the secret ingredient is? <laughs> More cherries, salt, almond extract. I take my almond extract. I mean, so a bit... Um, um, Mandelgeschmack ist doch eigentlich ganz nice in so einem Kuchen. Oh, it's almond extract. Duh. Oops, I accidentally poured a little too much in it. Way too much in. I'm sure it's fine. Baking is an art and some of the most beautiful art is made from mistakes. I finally get the pie in the oven. How long am I supposed to leave it in there? 15 minutes? I just wing it. Amanda's going to be so excited. That kid loves a good pie. I have a seat at the kitchen table and do word jumbles until Amanda comes home. I can hear the door slam open. Yo, pups! What smells like pie in here? It's pie, sweetie! Amanda darts over to the oven and looks inside. Yes! <laughs> hey, it's not done! Be patient! What's your angle here? What? Pies are an objective-based confection. What are you trying to get out of me? <laughs> Fine, you caught me. <laughs> Nothing. I've been leading a double life. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Amanda, I have terrible news for you. I'm actually a pro skateboarder and aspiring astronaut and bank robber. The lifestyle is calling me back and I must go. One last job. You know how it is. <laughs> This pie was the only way I knew how to tell you. Well, I appreciated the years we spent together, but a trade-up is a trade-up. <laughs> remember, remember me when you're kicking your feet up and... Ibiza. <laughs> Thanks for all the pie. We share a cordial, cordial handshake. I wait a few, few more minutes before taking the pie out of the oven. I set it on a rack to cool and guard it so Amanda doesn't dig into it before it's ready. Mm. Huh? What? Mm. Does it look kind of weird to you? Oh, that's just me taking artistic license on what cherry pie means to me emotionally. I'm just saying this because, you know, it seems like you might have baked this pie incorrectly. And you're currently, right now, trying to pass it off as a good thing. <laughs> It's art, sweetie. 
What's it are when you accidentally baked a whole uncracked egg into the center of my 12th birthday cake? Well, it's... Was it odd when you tried to make brownies and accidentally created chlorine gas? <laughs> well, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Was it odd when you just eat the pie, panda? <laughs> I cut us a few slices and we sit down to eat. The cherry filling oozes out of the sides and of the sides and the buttery crust glistens. I watch as Amanda takes a bite. Oh, what's wrong? Is is it not good? Amanda winces and fans her mouth. Uh, no, no, I, I just burned the heck out of the, of the roof of my mouth. This pie is amazing. Sorry for doubting you. I breathe a sigh of relief and take a bite. She's right. The pie is pretty incredible, as it always is. <laughs> I'm really proud of you for making a pie without burning the new house down. I got a few dead tricks up my dad's sleeve. Maybe fathers aren't as bumbling and stupid as the media makes us makes us out to be. Maybe we we as a society should have a little more respect for fathers as a whole. Dad, your sleeve is on fire! I run to the sink and put myself out. Pride will be my undoing. Amanda and I clean up the kitchen and play a little more living room hoops before she retreats to her room to do homework. I go back to my word jumbles. Hey, this one spelled scared. <laughs> the rest of the evening trickles by, we eat dinner, I help Amanda with one of her scholarship applications and we both start getting ready for bed. I decided to check that book one last time before I climb into bed. Still nothing from Robert. Huh, hope he's okay. I turn on the lights and lie down. Ooh, <laughs> hey, Lloyd, hey, hey Lloyd, come hang out with me. <laughs> Oh, what, what is that? I was just on the verge of falling asleep. I climb out of bed and try to identify the source of the dinging. My computer screen illuminates the dark room. Also, ich mach mein Computer aus, wenn ich schlafen gehe, aber jedem das seine. <laughs> okay, I walk over to it, ready to turn it off, when I notice what's happening on screen. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> well, that's not exactly subtle. But, I mean... I did have fun with him the other night. <laughs> Go to bed. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right over. You're gonna kick me out. You're gonna kick me out this time? Maybe. Hurry up. God damn it. <laughs> I reluctantly throw on a jacket and head outside. When I get to Robert's place, the door is already unlocked. Wie sieht's denn da aus? Holy shit. All the stuff everywhere. Um... Okay, as much as I feel like hooking up a robot again is maybe not the best idea. That's a problem for tomorrow, Lloyd. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, how are things? Robert stares at me. I, I know you're not here for small talk. I shrug. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you get me. Robert closes the gap between us and whispers a series of increasingly filthy things in my ear as he begs me into his room. I'm starting to think maybe this was a good idea after all. <laughs> That's so witzig. And the next day, or... <laughs> hey, Robert nudges me awake. Yeah, okay. Ich, ich finde witzig, wie hier hinten der Stuhl einfach so richtig random auf dem Balkon so übergestürzt ist. <lacht> okay, Robert nudges me awake. Oh, hey. Dot, dot, dot. Are you kicking me out? I... Kicking is a strong word. It's more like a gentle, friendly push. Gentle and friendly are not words I would have would ever use to describe Robert. I sit up and stretch. Oh god, I'm so sore and I haven't had hickeys like this since college. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not doing this again if you're just gonna force me to leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say that next time too. I throw my clothes back on while Robert smokes a cigarette on his balcony. It's so verdammt sure of himself. Er ist so confident, das ist... Ah, das ist fast schon abfuck. <laughs> See you around, I guess. Yep. <laughs> I walk back home, my bones creaking. Oh, what's his problem? Oh my god. 
<laughs> it's a chimamish fetish, eh? Date complete! Naja, je nachdem, wie man das halt äh, als Date auch bezeichnet. Es ist wieder Rank C geworden, ich fass es nicht. Cargo Shorts, Sincerity, uh, ja gut, Whiskey, Crime, Truck, Silence. <lacht> Click to continue. Ah, ich habe eine Achievement gekriegt, Knife Dead. Okay. Gut. An dieser Stelle erstmal kurzer Break, es ist viel passiert hier in dieser Episode. Ähm, Pokern? Mit Amanda, ihr, ihr, ähm, ihre College... Äh, wie nennt man das? Ihren Eintritt ins College feiern. Und dann nochmal zu Robert gehen und äh, sich von ihm wieder verführen lassen. Gut. Mal sehen, was, was der nächste Tag da noch so bringt. Aber das war schon mal sehr interessant. Also ich bedanke mich bei euch fürs Zuschauen. Äh, Freue mich schon aufs nächste Mal und bis dahin. Macht's gut. Ciao.